Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or soul? And it is written, For thy sake we were killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. This is my favorite part. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, not even height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'd like to ask you to stand as we have congregational prayer. And there are many among us who are looking for jobs, who are looking to get stronger physically. Their health may be failing. It may be a family situation. It may be a crisis in the family with children. And we all have kids. So I would like you to put, raise your hand for any unspoken prayer request. And God sees your hand even into your heart before I ask you to raise your hand. And let's go ahead and pray. Father in heaven, it's a privilege and it's an honor to be in church today. To worship and glorify your holy name. Father, we are thankful for life and health and strength. We can roll off the beds, our beds this morning, and be able to breathe and enjoy the beautiful sunshine, the nature around us, and the warmth. Even if it's chilly, Father, we know your warmth and your spirit continue to color our hearts and make us motivated for your kingdom. Father, you see each hand that was raised to you today and the unspoken prayer requests and the burdens of each one's heart here today. We ask in a special way that we may remember that nothing is going to separate us from the love of Christ. In Christ Jesus, Father, that that will be the sole motivation for us to live each day, that our lives will be tuned with heaven, and our hearts will be transformed by your will and by your spirit each day to live that life that counts and that's life to see you in heaven one day. Bless with our pastors, he delivers the word today. Bless his heart and touch his tongue that his words from above may be motivated by your spirit and our hearts going to be touched. Bless each head in this congregation, the families that are here, the extended families that are not here. We ask for forgiveness of sins and most of all, we're thankful for our son Jesus Christ who has died so we can have life everlasting. And may our spirit be motivated, not by self, but only by your spirit in our life each day, is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let's sing together. This is my desire to all I live. 